this is low beam. And now let's uh, pop the high beam. That's the high beam. As you see the LED, the halo. Today on this video, I'm gonna be showing you an install of the headlight for my Electric Glide Standard 2020. You know, one of the first upgrades that I've done to my bike when I bought it was to replace those incandescent, terrible lights that Harley uh, gives you in the bike. So I went ahead and searched every possible option uh, LED. And there's actually a video right here uh, where I found really, really good light bulbs. I, uh, my initial plan was to keep the new uh, fixed uh, fixer itself and I, all I wanted is to replace the, uh, the bulb. So I found really, really bright uh, lights and there's a very good video with a comparison before and after of the LEDs, uh, the LED uh, bulbs that I uh, replaced. So really bright, very happy with what it is. One, actually one of the nice things of having a YouTube channel is that you get uh, a lot of freebies. A lot of vendors and sellers online wanna uh, give you some free uh, product for you to review, try it out. Uh, so somebody reached out to me, someone that uh, actually uh, sells on uh, Amazon. And I said, you know, I'm, I pretty much have a good setup but if it's a free uh you know a free item i'm willing to give it a try review it and what's nice and special about it it's an enclosed fixture and it has a halo ring around it so we sent it out and in this video i'm going to be installing it showing you how to install and comparing between what i have right now and uh the new one you know one of the things of uh getting free stuff uh to review is many, but what if the item is is not good i mean i need to be honest to the viewers and i need to be okay with the guy that's uh, sending out the free stuff so i can assure you that uh, and that actually happened in the past that i did get a few items i started videotaping it and doing a whole review and i realized that the item was simply uh not in my standards and i would not buy it so i i reached out to the guy and said listen two options is like i you want i'll send the stuff back to you but if i review it and post that video it's going to be a very bad review so you can pretty much know that when i put out an item I'll review it it's decent uh, i always tell the pros and cons and definitely i would buy or invest my money in it if it's something that i would not buy or i feel that you shouldn't buy uh usually i just don't post it and i don't want to deal with it because i need to be fair with the person that is actually uh selling it and uh you know he needs to uh make a living as well and i don't want to be the one affecting and, and causing him uh you know harming his business so once it goes through my uh my filter and i feel happy and comfortable with the, the quality of the item that's when I uh, post a, a video about it, telling you the good and the bad about it. So let's see what we have in the box. And from there, I'll actually uh, drive over, I'll ride over to John's. He'll help me out with the install. He wants to, you know, see what it's all about. And um, we'll take it from there. See, as you see, it's a generic box, no labeling, no, nothing on the, on the outside. Uh, you know, these items uh, are pretty much aftermarket competition for Honda and other big brand names so usually you see a box uh, it's manufactured uh, somewhere in China and some of these items are pretty good as well so I actually opened it up already so I know what I'm talking about you see nothing no name about it nothing nothing disclosing just a little uh, instruction guide this specific brand Z off-road halo LED lamp a uh, little instruction pamphlet over here it does come with uh, harnesses, we'll see them in a second. And a few adapters, black and white. Uh, and you can see it's actually on electri an Electra Glide. And this is what's inside. So that is the bulb, the, I mean the whole mount, the whole fixture. So this is the, uh, the whole setup. Uh, as you see the LED, the halo ring around and in the back, it's with uh, one plug. And we'll need, uh, you see the, the cooling uh, fins over here. 
and it does also come with the adapters or the harnesses needed for uh, the electric lies specifically because we have two separate bulbs so this is going to be uh, one entry and then it splits into the high beam and low beam and you get i guess for other models or you know other bikes because it's uh, generic and comes it can fit many uh bikes you can actually check down by the link uh i have a link down by the description where you can actually find this on amazon and it will tell you what bikes it fits and they also have some you know uh, electrical connectors so that's about it simple you know generic uh let's go over to john's from cycle fanatics you know him and we'll install it So I just, just uh, stopped by John's house. We're gonna do the install now. He's gonna no, help no, me I out. You're gonna I'm gonna do it, fine. You're gonna hold you're, the camera. Make, make a correction here. You, you're you gonna do the install. I'm gonna do the install. He's gonna hold the camera. He's How about watch. that? You're gonna see. <laughs> uh, but for now, he's gonna finish up uh, washing his car and then he's gonna wash my, wash, wash my bike. I gotta he's, listen. He's gonna wash my bike. I gotta, I gotta wash, I gotta wash the bike. Anyway, he's gonna finish up uh, washing his car, his bike, then my electric glide standard, and then we're gonna do the install. Okay, let's do some before footage and see what the, the lights look like. Daylight. Uh, we also have, of course, during the nighttime, I'll have a comparison. So this is what it looks like before we changed, before we swapped, right here. Uh, let's uh, throw the high beams on. Uh, that's the high beam. Well, it is now the night before I do the uh, install that you're watching. Before what the lights look like, and I'm gonna put the before and after. So this is where I'm gonna position the bike in the same area. Now, bear in mind this, this is my, uh, this is not the stock. This is an LED that I installed uh, a month after I got the bike. I have a, a video showing before. I have a video showing the actual install. God, I must say my uh, current light headlight is extremely bright. So this is what it looks like before. And we'll actually look uh, where it, uh, or how bright it is on that wall. And we put the high beams on. Extremely strong. Truth be told, I don't think uh, any light uh, can beat that. Extremely, extremely bright. Now let's get the screwdriver and start working. Before I even start any job, anything I do on the bike, just cover it a little bit so you don't drop anything and scratch the fender. Okay, first step. Unscrew. Freebie light. Oh, it came that fast? Yeah. Bikes and breakfast nice and clean tomorrow. Let me see. Did you, this might be, it looks like the same one I got. It is, I think it is. Okay, next step is unscrew one, two, three, four. These are all Torx T25 or 27. Let me check. connect all the wirings that we have my previous install right here one and two I always like to document take pictures of you know things before I take them apart so I always have some kind of uh, archive of before so if I ever need to go back to to the first stage I have I have it documented 
okay the old one is off just one one plug over here it's out gonna keep this you see i, I kind of like the uh stock the oem i think it's glass i'm not sure either and it's really nice and clear you know everything today they make of plastic i'm sure the one they actually sent is plastic so i'm not crazy about that but let's see what it looks like okay i had to uh take the proper connectors proper wires pretty pretty simple plug and play plug it in and this is amazing first of all you got the halo ring around there and i'm just testing it out for now and it's really bright really bright and this is the high beam So I'm going to uh, mount it, wrap it up, and then uh, do a, a little shoot video when it's installed and a comparison before and after. Absolutely, if you have stuff. I think I'll start to Yeah. See, I'm trying to see if this is glass or uh, hardened plastic. I know everything they make today, pretty much any uh, clear lens for, for cars is hardened plastic. Over time, it, uh, it loses its shine. I'm not sure what the uh, original Harley uh, lens is, if it's glass or uh, plastic, but this is uh, just as good as glass, I guess. Looks really nice. Wow. So I'm done. And this is one handsome looking headlight. Look at this. John, yeah. look at this, how nice it is, huh? This is the Z Off-Road. There's a link down by the description where you can uh, pick this one up. I don't remember the price, tell you the truth, because I got it for free. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see it all. Oh, oh, wow. That is, first of all, first of all, the Halo is really pretty it's really pretty now low beam there you go and i'll try the high beam very soon the design of this uh headlight is really nice i like this you know these lens are really nice okay let's try the high beam i think this was high beam There you go. Oh, nice. That's the low beam. Really bright. We'll test it out at night. You'll see the difference. You don't even have to test it out. Yeah, you can. It's, it's obvious, huh? It's crazy bright. Right. It hurts your eyes. It does. And the high beam. That is really bright. Holy crap. So that's it. Easy, easy, easy install. I think, I think, I'm not sure. I think the price is either $79 or $89. Yeah. 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 And, bucks. and it's, it's uh, nice. a great competition for all the brand names. All the, all How the, much is the Harley headlamp? Harley is like, uh, what do you call it? Daymaker or something like that. It's got to be like four or $500. Four, bucks, four, so this is a great, great alternative. Uh, I'll tell you over time. I'll do a review in a few weeks, months to see how, you know, that I don't have any glitches with it. But it looks really good. The build quality is there. The lens is really, really sturdy. Looks good. Very clear. Really. And it has, it comes with all these harnesses ready uh, for any, any installation. Most of the things I didn't even use over here. 
Okay, I just finished installing the light, the headlight, five hours ago when it was daylight. So this is what it looks like at night. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but you can, uh, I think the camera is distorting it a little bit. You can't really see, but uh, the naked eye, with the, just looking at it and like that, you can actually see the halo and we'll get closer to it. Maybe if you go th through the side, be able to see the halo. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but very bright. Now let's look uh, and check uh, the high beams. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's blinding, it's really strong. It is really, really strong, really bright. Now let's check uh, how you can see it uh, from this position. This is looking, uh, this is low beams, by the way. This is low beam. And now let's uh, pop the high beam. That's the high beam. Low beam. High beam. That's about it, guys. I and it, tell you the truth. When I was thinking, what 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 bad things can I say about it? I was gonna say that it's not as bright as my uh, my previous, but it actually is brighter. A so lot brighter. a lot a lot brighter. I like uh, the halo ring. It really gives it a nice touch, a sophisticated uh, look to it. And yeah, uh, absolutely. I uh, I really like this one. One last, one last thing that I didn't mention in terms of the aesthetics of it. If, if you notice, it blacks, the, there's a lot of black uh, within the lens. The inner, the inner part is black and it, it blends in with the black and chrome as opposed to what I had before that was uh, reflective uh, silver. So it gives it a nice little uh, darkish uh, look. And that is also something that I kind of like. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, install, the review. Uh, I am Sandy from Holy Shift. Till the next video. Peace out, guys.